Welcome friends, James Corbett here, CorbettReport.com. Today's the 29th of May 2014, and we are joined on the line by our old friend Dan Dix of PressForTruth.ca, not from my home and native land of Canada today. Today he is in Copenhagen, Denmark, covering the annual Bilderberg Conference taking place from today through to June 1st. Dan, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Absolutely, James. It's my pleasure to be on. Excellent. Well, as I'm sure a lot of my listeners probably know by now, um, you were recently arrested at the uh, trying to cover the Bilderberg Conference. Tell us about that experience. Yeah, we ended up uh, going on down into the Marriott Hotel there to just kind of, you know, scope it out and see what was going on in there. And um, shortly after we were in there, we ended up noticing that some members of the organizing committee of the Bilderberg Group were actually sitting there at the lounge uh, having a couple of cocktails. So we thought, what a unbelievably perfect opportunity to go and approach them and ask them some questions about eh, maybe what's going to be on the agenda this year. We kept it very, very light, very friendly. Even uh, Luke even offered to buy them some drinks. And um, that, that prompted uh, security to come and grab me and Luke. And they, they physically um, d detained us, really. They physically held us down until... Uh, the police came, and they wouldn't allow me to, to leave until the police came, and we eventually got uh, uh, arrested. Uh, we were brought downtown, put in a cell, and as they were searching my bag and, and uh, patting me down, um, that's when I asked them, are we under arrest here or something? They said, yes, yes, you are. Uh, you're under arrest for failing uh, to produce ID, and um, they held us there in the cell for a little while. Their very first charge the very first accusation was that we were on drugs they said they think we think we have drugs in your bag and um so <laughs> that's luke there by sorry, the way taking sorry, selfies I, in order to yeah. take pictures how you doing Corbett? sorry <laughs> master specs luke radowski is hijacking my corbett interview here um <laughs> but uh anyways so yeah we we were we were held up there for a couple of hours and um, then they eventually let us go. So now we're here and we're able to do the job that we came here to do. So it's, it's all good, really. Well, I'm glad you are able to, to do your job. So let's talk about what's going on there right now. This is the first day. Uh, so I imagine we've uh, seen the arrival of a lot of the, the members so far. Well, yes. Uh, Luke and I managed to actually um, catch a few of them pulling out of the airport. We decided to go on into the airport. We've, you know, this is my fourth time covering Bilderberg, and never have we uh, gone to the airport prior to their arrival to catch them coming out. And uh, sure enough, there they, there they were walking out of the airport. Um, so we got a lot of great shots there, and then we're again hassled by airport security. And actually, airport security, I must say, were quite nice. Um, we we spoke with them, and they eventually said, okay. Uh, you, you can go ahead and take film and pictures. Just please don't talk to them. Um, so they, they pretty much let, left us be, and, and so, so that was nice. So we managed to get a lot of uh, footage of some of the delegates coming in. And I don't know if you can see behind me here, that is the, that is the Marriott uh, Hotel behind me, and the cars are pulling in here all day right now. There's a lot of press right here um, right now ready to catch the delegates coming in. There is a protest zone, a protest area where protesters are somewhat penned in I guess it's it's a good uh, couple hundred of feet away um, so we're in a kind of separate sort of area for for the press where we're able to get footage of the delegates coming in so that that makes it a little bit different from last year whereas we weren't able to get even close to the cars looks like this year we will be able to get some footage of a lot of the delegates coming in excellent well I'm going to let you get back to your work in a minute here but let's just talk about some of the people that you saw coming in have you been able to identify any of the people that you uh, that you were seeing at the airport <laughs> Not yet. That's something we've been doing here. Um, it's kind of going around um, showing people the faces that we captured and asking some of the key people here who have been researching and following Bilderberg for years now, people like Charlie Skelton and others, where we're trying to find out um, who some of these guys are because these cars that they were getting picked up in had a little B symbol on them. It was very clear who the Bilderberg members are. We documented a few of them, not positive enough to, to positively I. I identify them just yet um, but we've got clear shots of their faces they're definitely Bilderberg members and it's just a matter of time until we we um, you know get to some computers and figure out just who these guys are and as soon as we do we'll be publishing that information excellent good stuff well uh, let's talk a little bit about the uh, the feeling on the ground you this as you say this is your first uh, fourth Bilderberg conference uh, what's what's the uh, the crowd there like this year um, pretty good so far. I haven't been over to check out the protest area just yet, um, but I think uh, Saturday is going to be the big day. Um, there's already, it looks to be a, maybe 100 people over there, so that's a good sign uh, that things may get bigger on, on uh, you know, come, come, come the main Saturday. So uh, it's pretty good vibe so far. Um, 
A lot of police, I don't know if you can see around there, a lot of barricades already up, uh, the usual same old, same old now at uh, Bilderberg meetings. Um, so uh, the, the vibe's been good so far, uh, but again, we're, we're just getting started, just starting to kick things off here, so we'll, we'll just have to wait and see how this goes. Excellent. Well, we'll let you get back to it, but just finally then, tell us, uh, do you know anything about this We the People Bilderberg conference that's going to be taking place as a counter-conference? I am, th that sounds vaguely familiar. I've heard people talking about it. I don't know enough about um, about that conference uh, to, to say anything about it. Um, sounds interesting, though. All right. Any any chance we can talk to Luke for a second? Yeah. Uh, Luke, James Corbett wants to speak to you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here What's we up, have uh, Luke Rodowski of Weird Change. How you doing? Hey, Luke. Uh, hey, here, we go. here we go. He's got an earpiece now. The earpiece, very official. The one, the only, Luke Rudkowski. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time. Luke, I, I see you've already gotten yourself into trouble. Oh, no, no, I don't look for trouble. Trouble finds me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, man. You know, I try to look fresh and clean and be nice and just try to talk to people openly. But for some reason, these people here, these globalist mafia... I'm not even going to curse. Uh, it's a PG-13 show, probably. Uh, <laughs> These people are so afraid of just people having conversations with them. You know, it's really repugnant to see what happens when you walk up to them and just like, hey, what's going on? Can you talk to us? And, and automatically they harass you, threaten you, and try to arrest you. And they did arrest us. But, uh, you know, we're here shining the light and making them feel very uncomfortable. We're doing it uh, independently, and that's the only reason we're able to do something like this, because we have no corporate holders or nobody telling us what to do, and that's why we're out here. So... Awesome stuff. So you guys were uh, released without any charges, right? Uh, it's it's yes, we yeah. were charges, and we think that mainly came from the outpouring of support. Uh, I mean, everybody from Occupy Wall Street to Anonymous to all you know, other independent journalists came. Uh, you know, we had hashtag Free Dicks, hashtag Free Luke, hashtag Free the Press going you know everywhere, all over Twitter. So I think it's really because of all the public attention that we've been let off so easily, even without charges. I mean, there was no charges. They made up charges. You know, they, they tried to say we had possession of drugs uh, on us, you know, when the cameras were off. But as soon as they ripped off the cameras, they're like, you guys are being charged with possession of drugs. I'm like, man, they're going to set us up again. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's very uh, insane. It's very crazy, it, you know, but, but we're here fighting it. We're not afraid. Uh, you know, this arrest only invigorates us so much more, and, and we're going to continue the fight and, and not be scared of anything or anybody. Tell us your website so people can follow your coverage. Definitely check us out at pressretoot.ca. That's Dan Dick's website. It's wearechange.org. We're also starting up a learning uh, college institution where we're going to teach people real journalism. And, uh, you know, keep up the great work, Colbert, as well. You're doing uh, really awesome stuff. Independent media is the only way to get the truth, and, and we're all, we are all a part of it. Awesome. Yes. Is, there any U Street, is there any U Street yes. coverage this year? Yeah, we're we're gonna be uh, live streaming. Um, what's your what's your? Well, I'm mostly just uploading videos on YouTube.com forward slash We Are Changed. They're all up, gonna be on there. If we do go side to to go live, uh, Twitter.com forward slash Luke We Are Changed is where the notification is gonna be. Uh, only because only in emergency situations are we gonna broadcast live because uh, it, it only makes sense to capture the best stuff on YouTube. Uh, and if any dangerous situations occur, we will go live for our safety. And I'll be um, documenting everything, putting it out on YouTube as much as I can. And then when I get the chance, I'll try some live streaming at uh, ustream.com. Uh, uh, sorry, I think it's ustream.tv slash channel slash press for truth TV. Um, so people can tune in there for the press for truth live stream. And also stay tuned to uh, YouTube and press for truth.ca and we are change.org. For more reports coming uh, from us. It's a lot of addresses. I'll put them all in the, sh in the show notes so people can follow them. All right. Thank you, guys. Now you guys go out there and kick some globalist butt. Oh, we definitely are. You got it. Mm -hmm. all right, take care. Take care.